And, but, and there's a reason it's the the link to the past has been remade like four or five times at this point in terms of like moving it up the systems. Yeah, I and I think that was when Z- uh, Link couldn't take it anymore. He had to he he went emo on us and dyed his hair pink. You know, like <laughs> but like uh, what is it? Um, I think it. I really respect Nintendo in the the fact that like they they make those giant leaps. They take those chances and you see, I see it in, in, in all the, most of their series, like, like the first three games are all, there's like this weird experimental development phase. Mm -hmm. Um, I see it with legend of Zelda with Zelda one, Zelda two and link to the past. And then you see it with Kirby, Kirby dreamland one, two, and three. I mean, you can also throw Kirby Adventure in there too, but like I think Kirby Dream on one, two, and three really kind of established the formula. Um, but I mean, even Mario, three, Mario, Mario, one, two, two. And three are fucking wild. Well, I mean, like you know what's weird is like you always have like one of the games in there that like just like add a weird element in there. Like uh, mm-hmm. for instance, like Zelda two was like it had like these weird NPCs that didn't seem Zelda ish at all. And then you had (laughs) um, Kirby dreamland one that like, you know, like usually in most Kirby games, like the one thing that I don't think a lot of people think of is like the, the, the enemies are like a certain dimension, you know, it it doesn't, they never get bigger outside of like the small dimension or the large dimension. Yeah. Then like, in Kirby Dreamland One, they had like these enemies that were like instead of like I don't know, let's say, um, sixteen by sixteen pixels. It was like I don't know, like a weird ratio, like like twenty eight by thirty two, and they were just bats. It was just bats. <laughs> it was just like a very f- almost photorealistic bat in a Kirby game, and it's like what the hell, and. It was creepy as hell. You had that, and then you also had this also like weird like mask thing that followed you around. I actually think those were what were used in Mario Two as well. You know the I weird believe masks? that's correct. That weird I fucking remember mask enemy. It, I remember. I think it was in the first Kirby game, and like oh Kirby Dreamland One at least. And man, there was a lot of scary shit in the first Kirby game, and like. The second level in particular was just like it, it. It just didn't feel finished. It was like the map <laughs> was just like weird. It it was like a maze, but that d- shouldn't have been a maze. It was almost like they made too much of the level, and they were just like, "That's like three hundred percent more than all the other levels." And they're like, eh, "No one will care," you know. But like, <laughs> and then you have. Mario 2, which what also wasn't supposed to be a Mario game. Dokapon Kingdom. But that was a, a really cool I liked Mario. Uh, it's a really cool the idea. Music too. The music was great in that game too. Um, which I did Koji Kano didn't write the music for that, did they? Did I don't he? think so. Uh-huh. 